Hello and welcome to a Nest of Vipers. The fan mission by Nick. Let's uh I was gonna say let's jump right in. No, we have a we have a thing to read. An acquaintance of mine, a small time housebreaker called Halyard, was approached by a nervous character who turned out to be a high ranking wizard at the Academy of the Trefoil Serpent, a secretive and pretentious college for wizards perched high in the mountains. This wizard, Kethmar, wants to usurp the Archmage Voltazar, and apparently is one of a number of malcontents among the Academy's faculty who wish to bring about change in the institution. Yet none will dare to openly defy the Archmage while he holds the Mergar st Steel, a stone tablet of abstruse prophecies. On paper, the job is simple. Kethmar wants a skilled outsider to infiltrate the Academy and smash the steel into pieces. This accomplished, Kethmar and those allied to him can seize power and forge a new destiny for the Academy. After hearing the particulars of the job that he had rashly agreed to, Halyard realized it would be beyond his abilities to complete alone, and so he wants my help. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't tangle with these wizards, but money's tight, and the wizard already paid Halyard a sizable advance. Even half of it is enough to keep me in business for a while longer. And with the promise of more to come upon completion of the job, I reluctantly agreed to help. Alright, well, let's... Get started. Uh, your acquaintance. Okay, hang on. Your acquaintance, Halyard, has gone inside the academy posing as a servant. He's going to swing a platform over the gatehouse wall to allow you to rope up and get inside after nightfall. Meanwhile, Halyard will get hold of the Chaos Shard, a relic of the academy, and your best bet for shattering the magically protected steel. Once inside, meet up with Halyard and get the shard from him. Once you've obtained the shard, it'll be up to you to break into the main keep, locate the Mergar steel, and shatter it, destroying the magic contained within. To allay suspicion, return the Chaos Shard to its plinth once the job is done. When the job is completed, Kethmire is to leave the remainder of the payment for the job in a chest inside an old walled-off room accessed by the bathroom changing room on the second floor. Recover the fee and bring it back to Halyard. Weird place to leave a fee. The Academy is a rich and powerful institution. They won't miss a few treasures. Get at least 2200 loot. Your employer won't be happy if you kill anyone during the course of this job. Optional, a true professional could pull this off without the wizards ever even knowing they were there. Harm no one and don't raise anyone's suspicious suspicions. Exit the Academy of Halyard once the job is complete and you have your payment. Alright, so the difficulty is only difference is only loot goal. At least on, on paper. Um, do I want to... Yeah, let's go ex expert, I guess. If we're not allowed to kill anyone in it, anyway, the main reason I'd choose hard... Well, the two main reasons. One is few extra hit points for the sake of uh, carrying on without lots of quick loading. It'll be fine. Uh, and the other one is, of course, the ability to kill a guard if it's in a tight corner and I don't have a good way to escape. But uh, neither of those are... Well, the latter isn't op an option, so I guess we'll just do without the former. Low hit points instead. Let's just try not to dip, not to pull too much, right? Or otherwise, get damage in my face. How is letter? Okay, that's probably similar to what we just read in the briefing. But I think I'm going to need those anyway, and that doesn't leave me much money left. In fact, that doesn't even leave me money for a single flashball. On the other hand, if we're not expected to be seen at all, we won't need a single flash bomb, right? So maybe just another water, a couple of water arrows, and assume we will be good and find out that our assumptions are badly wrong. All right. Let's read the letter, or have a look at it anyway. Yeah, Garrett. I've been inside a couple of weeks now, and I mapped out everywhere I'm allowed to go. You'll have to figure out the rest yourself. The steel is somewhere in the main keep, I think, but servants aren't allowed in there, and it's guarded by the wizards and their creations. When you get here, meet me under the entrance stairs, and I should have the chaos shard for you. It's out in plain view. I reckon I can nab it without much trouble. Once the job's done, our employer, Kethmar, will leave the rest of the payment in a chest inside the secret room. He says it's access from a changing room on the second floor of the keep, in the southwest corner of the building. To access it, he says there's a bunch of clothes hooks on the walls, the last one's a lever if you trust it. The crypt under the keep is likely to be your best shot at exiting the place once you're done. I'll wait by the lower gate for you, and we'll be rich as kings and I'll wait back to the city before the wizards figure out anything's wrong. Elliot. 
Yeah, Hallie, you might be a little too optimistic there. Hello, what's... What's down here? Aha, uh -huh, nice view of the mountains and some of this... Major's Academy. I don't think we're going down there today. There's a skull. Whoops! <laughs> I was just trying to move forward a step and uh, because of the stepping up on the object, so I kept on going uh, a fraction. Well... Right, if you try and move on to an object... Uh, that one is not really... You sometimes have trouble... Uh, it doesn't stop immediately. <laughs> yeah. Why? Why, why? why use this a skull? Why is there... Oops, a skull... Of, oh, hello. Of somebody who fell down from up here. I didn't even look up. Well, that's maybe... Maybe my first mistake was not looking up. He gave us a map, by the way. Oh, he did. Uh, right, so we're underneath this bridge. So that's the astronomy tower. So the keep is the big square one. The great hall is the one with the buttresses that we could see over the cliff. It has ma there's a magic barrier on the bridge, apparently. All right. It's a pretty awesome view, to be quite honest. What? Should we just pull out of the sky? Uh, I guess we're not meeting up with Halyard. He doesn't look so good. This job just got complicated. But you've never been one to shy away from a challenge. You'll have to recover the Chaos Shard yourself. Where did he even fall from? Well, here, have a skull to keep you company, man. I guess. So what is this? Again. Oh, it's actually a hut. This music. This music is familiar. Who are you? Maybe I shouldn't disturb you? Ah, oh, there's these, these... Same candles they've got in... As in, um... What was the name of that other... Ra Raven... Block? No, something, something kind of like that. That other Nick mission, a really good one that was... And that's where the skull was, right? Yeah. That had the relighting candles. Can't remember the name off the top of my head. God damn it, Nick. Stop making stop making levels that look so good. Not fair on the rest of us. Actually don't stop, it's very good, very good. The more great levels we have, the better. <laughs> also has us walking around a cliffside path just like that other one did. Throw somebody at the gate. No. Yes, two people at the gate, but they're looking the other way. Well, I guess we do have a way in.
They do seem to be ordinary guards, not majors, so... We uh, got inside. Oh, that's the platform. Okay. I mean, we can raise it all over the gate here, I guess, but maybe we don't want to. Need this cup? I don't know why I picked it up. But I saw something. That's a bizarre sound effect to use. Ghosting failed. That's actually going to annoy me now, because I don't actually care about being super ghosty. Just looking this way. Well, there wasn't any loot up there, right? All those arrows. I kind of wanted. Eh. Am I gonna need him? I don't know. Probably not. Come on now. Well, I'm gonna have to leave that happily. Nobody saw me, you know. And now I don't need to worry about that noise coming it's up again. There somewhere. I can just. Pretend it never happened. Cook said we might get stew today. With real cow. Hope they save some. That the Baron gets to eat cow. What was that, you think? Did you see anything? Nah. <clears throat> and wisps. Ah, oh, there's no good way to get past there without being seen, that I can tell. Well, I would have done a ghosting fail right away at that point. Well, we're over now. We're coming in, right, into my platform here. Well, we're not, we're not, we're coming down this way. We're already breaking the uh, instructions. Where did he fall from? Oh, there's a guard here. I not feel like a guarded kind of place, but I guess I'm wrong. He has a person in there. That's worth having. What is it with these weird hanging crystal lamps as well? Even my water arrows are entirely a waste if everyone uses these things instead of good old fashioned torches. As you go after this, you turn around and go back. <laughs> yes, basically. <laughs> Any 
any reason to come up along this ledge. Or it's equivalent, not really. goals. So we are here, right? Wait, I'm looking north. No, now I'm looking east at a gate. Well, I must be around here. Your shirt is kept here, so we've got to head north. Okay, so let's let's go go northwards. <laughs> Imagining things now. I'm just going back. What is that I'm seeing there? Is that a person? Okay, well someone in a weird withered hat doing a weird gesture of some kind? I don't know what he was doing. Oh, bizarre. Didn't look like a person at all to me. It's like... I thought it was a scarecrow shaped like a wizard, which would have been... Thought I saw strange, but quite funny. Is this place open? This feels like... A weird little... thing. I guess it's a plinth for that statue. Okay, this isn't what I need to be. This is nothing. Guard up there on the right. Inside at last. Code hooks, huh? They're not the secret kind. Bed rolls I do not need. Well, they do use some. Oh. This way. And so they do use some ordinary torches there, although it's got a weird white flame in it, so it probably lights this off again as well, which means water arrows are going to be basically damn near useless. Second mission in a row, then, where they do that. Honestly, I am not bound. Alright, I think we're in the right place for the Chaos Shard, right? Oh no, I'm in the Guard Captain's Quarters. Right, well we're near it, so we just keep you heading east a little bit. Oh, maybe this is the guy, maybe he goes out there, right. He must be the guy I saw standing on the, uh, balcony. Yeah, it looks like. Oh, hello. Move before he comes any closer. Damn, there's no way to hide here. Not much, not many places to hide here either. Stick a rope up here and fail to mantle, I guess. <sighs> okay. 
Okay. Realize that's a better rope option. Um. We can rope those. Nice view. Uh, I, the reason I did this is I don't know when he's coming back, and I do not. I want to be looting the room as soon as he leaves the room, but I have the most time as possible to look at things. I can just hear footsteps outside the door, but I don't know whether they're coming in here or not. Oh, fucking hell. Pressed entirely the wrong key. <laughs> I pressed lean and put my hand back on the keyboard in the wrong place. That was pretty lucky that I didn't just fall to my death. It does seem like maybe he doesn't come in here. Footsteps are gone. So he goes upstairs and doesn't come in this room. That's not nice, I guess. I heard footsteps again. I'm paranoid. I'm not even trying to be super ghosty. Yeah, he obviously... Well, if he does come in here, I guess maybe only some of the time. This bickering between the wizards is getting worse. Belshazzar and Kathmar were arguing openly in front of the commons yesterday, and what mutual respect there once was between them seems to have evaporated entirely. It is a bad situation for the Academy. It weakens us all. This very night, one of the new servants tried to steal one of the Academy's most precious relics. This would not have happened if the wizards themselves showed solidarity amongst themselves, for who would dare stand against their concerted might? For now, it is up to me to dispense harsh punishment to deter any others of the commons who might be getting ideas. It is my hope that the fool's broken body will be enough to instill an unshakable obedience in the servants. In the morning, I shall have Davian go down and collect the, collect the corpse and hang it from the battlements for all to see. This institution will not crumble while I am captain of the guard. So it's your fault. I think you're the one who murdered my uh, co-worker, colleague, comrade in arms. I don't need it at bedroll. I'll take your little statue there. I'll chop down your banner. Well, I won't chop down your banner. I'll be suspicious of your banner and assume it holds some kind of secret until I search for a switch and don't find it. Yeah, okay, he doesn't come in here, he goes up and goes back. Okay. Oh, well, that's my cue to go back as well, I think. I thought there was a book on there for a minute, now it's just firewood. So I think out there is where I want to go next. Yeah, out there and across to where the chaos shadow is kept. Okay. Another guard out here. Okay. I'll lean on those things. Where's the other guard? Not looking this way. It's all good. Oh, it's a bit bright there. Moonlight's at risk. Okay. 
we have a door into the government building and the chaos shard is kept here. Apparently. What's a guard wandering here? Where did he go? Ah, brethren, in light of today's attempted theft by that rogue, the chaos shard has henceforth been moved to a safer location in the astronomy tower. Until such a time as we can be sure of no further plots or exploits against the Academy. All guards are to be doubled until further notice. Chief Astronomer Ludbold. Oh, dang. Note added to map. Steel should be somewhere in the main key. Wait. Hang on. The Chaos Shard has been moved to the Astronomy Tower. That's kind of neat that he's got the, uh, the layers on top, but of course, you can do something like this. Right, and it vanishes. It's magic. Look at this magical disappearing act. Okay, I didn't actually notice this, this map, which is way more detailed, right? You can get in around the side of the stairs. Yes, I discovered that. Garrett, I'll see you clean the platform over the wall here. A remarkably, uh... yeah, yeah. You know, Halliard should have been a draftsman, not a thief. We've missed his calling. Trying our best I could do. Servants aren't allowed to hide in the ground floor. A love porter to the keep. Okay. Uh, this is about all I could find out about the keep. The second floor changing rooms around here. Why is who? I know we're being hired by one of the majors, but. Does he have to put his stuff in a inconvenient place and not provide us any information about it? All right, I'm, I'm not a fan of the game keeping notes for you yourself mechanic, because to me, keeping notes about what's important is part of the way to engage with the mission. Just as like, we don't tend to build missions with highly linear Wow, there's somebody on that balcony right there. And I was about to climb up this. What was I saying? Just as we don't build missions with highly linear uh, structures in terms of the level space as you go through it. I also don't like to... Uh, South, south. Okay, we could go south across here and get to the top of the Great Hall, and we need to go across the bridge to the Astronomy Tower, that's the problem. Hey, who's there? You heard nothing? You can't hide forever. Oh, I can. Oh shit, he did hear something. Nothing out here. See? Told you so. Looks like it's nothing. Told you. You didn't believe me, did you? What was the thing? Yeah, we don't want the level design to handhold you, and I don't think these level scripting should either. There's a guard on the roof of that one. Okay. Uh... Look at this place. Alright, I'm going to use one of my... No, I'm not. I say I'm going to use one of my two monsters here. I'm not. I'm just going to... Come down here, and then I can go quietly here. Oh, that's a lot brighter than I expected. All of a sudden. Apprentice Yurik, you wish to learn more about constructs and an opportunity has presented itself. 
This one's binding spell has collapsed, but the residual magic should still be able to teach you quite a lot. See what you can learn from it. I shall expect a report on the proper method of binding and commanding a construct on my desk in one week. Dozier. Oh, okay. Why does this sound like Darth Vader? Weird. We have on this table nothing of interest, okay. What do you have upstairs? Wait, those plates are valuable? I'm sure I saw some before that didn't look valuable. I like these mats. That's, that's really nice. Well, and I know you are eager to graduate and exchange your apprentice's robes for the purple of office, but don't be too eager to take sides. I feel certain that our betters will resolve their differences before long, and those who fuel the fires of dissent will not be looked upon kindly once harmony returns. Be patient, continue your research diligently, and I'm certain you will be rewarded for your efforts. Go back. Hmm. Do I want to check out these beams? Do I want to deal with these banners? Stand forth! I tire of these games. was weirdly delayed reaction there. And again, he sounds like Darth Vader. Very... Are they all wearing weird voice masks? Yes, so, these mazes, what they get up to. Alright, well, that means I can check out the beams, right? See something on that one. The secret. How am I going to uh, get down from here though? <laughs> I can jump and get my rope back, but that's going to be noisy. I'll wait till he's at the far corner of the room, I think you'll hear me otherwise. You might hear me anyway, but you're more likely to hear me this close. I'm not going to waste a muscle on this. Yeah, he didn't hear me. Do this stuff look useful? No. All right. Just try not to get stuck on this roof. And try not to make too much noise on the roof. Ooh, something there. You already came out here and looked, man. You know there's nothing out here. Okay. Keep going along the roof, I guess. So I think I can get up to that chimney. Maybe? I suppose I try. Some awkward <laughs> stuff here for it's not really good, built for climbing on. <gasps> mm, it seems like there's an object there stopping me climbing up there or something, I don't know. 
gonna say no, I can't get in there. What am I gonna do about this archer? I guess I could just head left. Ah, he sits and watches. And he goes inside for a fraction of a second. All right. Well, how, how come I was suddenly not in darkness? <laughs> Bell of silence. Well, I can ring it. What's that do? Chimney there? What am I looking at? Well, this is Thief 2, I can zoom, I keep forgetting that. Oh, it's like a trapdoor. Alright, if I drop down on the roof now, this guy will hit me. I'm sure Bell of Silence is important, but I don't know why. Entirely silence. It's a bell of not very noisy, of small noisiness. Oops, I opened the wrong way. Garrett never knows how to open a door. It doesn't open into his face. He put steps down here. Green paint, okay. Something moved there. Nay. Okay, calm down. There's nothing there. Hmm. Wonder what that noise was. Right, so this must be the Great Hall, right? We want to go west across the bridge, so I'm at the wrong, entirely the wrong end of it. Ooh, we're getting some frame rate drops in here. Very nice hall there. Yeah, it seems odd to me. Maybe it's just a lot more cells than being rendered than I'm aware of, or objects or something. Or both. Strange noises. Third time this shift. I gotta calm down. Ah, dang Looks it, like turn around. Nothing. The other thing that I should point out that I have not mentioned is the Remy said that um, guards will notice if you bump into them. Yeah, come on, right, turn around, man. This, this other guy's coming already. What's over there? Nothing. Come on, turn around. Turn around. Hmm. Otherwise, this guy's going to bump into me, and I'm, I'm going to be in trouble. Turn 
around, now turn around. You can't hide for long. Turn around. I'm warning you. Okay. Now you've got to turn around. Shit, they're both over there now. This timing is awful. I'll find you! Believe me, I Okay. Bridge guard log. 529. Performed the ritual of dawn. Told the bell of silence at sunrise to dispel the magical barrier across the bridge. Day shift guards on duty. Bridge secure. Shift change. Bridge secure. Night shift guards on duty. Bridge secure. Performed the ritual of dusk. Told the bell of silence at sunset to activate the magical barrier across the bridge. Shift change. Bridge secure. Alright, now I know I rang the bell a few times. Yeah, thanks. So it run rings. Did I ring it an odd number of times or an even number of times? I don't remember. I guess it was an even number of times. The magical barrier is not up. It must have been three times I rang it. I feel quite a lot. Well, I'll take it. Oh, there's a guard right up there. I was like, what is that on the top? It's a guard looking out over here. I'm super bright here anyway, even though I'm crouched. Astronomy Tower. What do you win is this? Defend yourself. <laughs> I'm not here. You just saw nothing, man. Oh, I do have a quick way out. <laughs> oh, hello. I see some climbable cliffs there on the left leading to a bricked up gateway or is that an open gateway? Interesting. Maybe that's an open balcony? Maybe that's, oh that's the keep right? That'll be the, that'll be what he said about the, uh, where's the letter? Crypt under the keep is likely to be your best shot exiting place, so that'll be the way out. Right. Well, his hand looks like it's on fire. So he patrols along there. Okay, I guess I got lucky. Not not with that jump. I didn't get lucky with that jump. That was that mantle just did not happen. I don't know why. Hello? Someone over there? Shit, there's people everywhere. Yay, loot under the stairs, thank you. So many missions are going to look under the stairs and there's nothing. Oh, she got suspicious, didn't she? <laughs> oh, the air is getting so filthy lately. <clears throat> Who knows what it was? Okay, well, we have a map of the astronomy tower, right? A rough one. I think we're in the gra ground floor. Can't tell us there's likely to be anything of interest on top of the shelf there. Doesn't really look like it. About the painting, is that valuable? Probably not. Probably just some kind of major other. Okay. <laughs> More 
whether any of that stuff is valuable or not. <laughs> Probably not, right? Some cheese, there's maybe something valuable on that shelf over there. Probably not, right? Those plates, though, they'll be okay. So this is kind of an example of why I want to go into these missions blind. Why I insist on going into them blind. Uh, not only that I won't know where the loot is, but I won't know where safe places to hide are. And I'm, you know, I'm going to have to be thinking on my feet. Yeah, they're, not, they're nothing. Thinking on my feet, looking for shadows, you know, actually reacting and engaging with the entire space around me, where patrols are. Um, it's not really about story spoilers, I don't really care about story, story spoilers for basically anything ever. But when the gameplay is about the dynamics of space and NPC movement, I want to go into it without knowing In advance. Alright, we need to go there where our wizard friend is, but let's check this out first. <laughs> nope, it's nothing. Okay. His wizard friend is going to come out again in a minute, and we should have a moment. I'm hearing somebody on the next floor up as well. Hmm, I think she's about to come out of this room. Yeah, I'll give her a few seconds here. I did have time, but I probably don't now. Shit. It's taking us so long in there. It was in and out in a few, was a few seconds last time. It's like she's, he's, he's had time to come and go. Did she just get stuck in the kitchen? I mean, I suppose it's plausible that she uh, actually was uh, started doing some cooking, you know, after all. But that completely messed up my uh, intensive timing. I'm, I'm almost worried for her now. Didn't come out of that bathroom in a long time. All right, well, let's shut this door again. Oh, there she goes. Okay, she doesn't stay long in the storeroom, right? Oh, here comes Wizard Man. All right. So this is good timing, I think, for both of them. Well, for me. Wizard Man comes out. She's going to come out in just a second. I'm going to the kitchen, and then that'll be a nice wide open window. Perfect. What was that thing? I need to be careful about moving across uh, brightly lit spaces because peripheral vision is a problem if uh, I can't even get in there. Alright. Uh, <laughs> although that's not where I need to be, right? That's the. the keep. I, need to, I do need to go up the astronomy tower. Yeah. So is this guy, does this 
wizard. I see. I thought this was a side room. I wasn't really paying attention to the map. So does this wizard go into the keep this way? Does he have a key on his belt that I have not been noticing? Guess we'll wait till he comes through and find out. Can't see him on the bridge. Oh, he's inside already. Here he comes. He does not appear to have a key on his belt. Right, that was a slight risk. I didn't want to wait longer than I had to. Classrooms, huh? Chief Astronomer Ludbold. Keep key. All right, that'll be good. What has this academy come to when an impudent rogue can come so close to stealing the chaos shard? I have said it time and again. We must vet the commoners more thoroughly. In any event, our good captain dealt with the fool quite satisfactorily. I only hope there is enough of his feeble brain left intact to be useful to research. And so it falls to me to hide the Chaos Shard somewhat more thoroughly. I have obscured it with a spell. It remains safely in my sleeping quarters, here in the Astronomy Tower, hidden to all mortal eyes. Only the touch of moonlight will reveal its resting place. A clever little illusion, if I do say so myself. Well, I was lucky that I... Uh... Oh, hello. That one doesn't... Hmm. That one is suspicious. What noise is this? <laughs> You have made your last error. Well, that was a mistake. Let's move on. Oh, this stairs are very tight, really hard to climb. Damn, we like candles everywhere. Ooh, I'm not mentioning the mantle tails. Uh, well, we'll uh, let him calm down because he won't find anybody. I think he imagined it, including the headaches, right? The blackjacks, the rather blackjack fails. Valuable, okay. I'm sure I can, cap I can grab that from here, right? No. Yes. Well, there doesn't seem to be anybody up here, so we seem quite safe here. There's another layer to this loft. Alright. Was our look up 2800? 2800, yes, indeed. Hello. Valuable mask, not valuable papers. Huh. Now, this, the here I'm getting frame rate drops, so here it's fine. Here you kind of expect it for looking over so much of the map. Really inspected on a single interior room like that. All right, up to the next level then. Why is there this weird? What is going on with this flooring? Weird gold thing with. Oh. The keep teleporter. Okay. Hmm. 
Now it's pointing at the moon. That's a pretty damn big moving object, honestly. Sorry for turning it all the way around. It's the moon! Could I have looked at it any other time? Maybe there's something to see, actually. You know what? Let's find out. It's stars. Floor rotates is a little weird. Hello, what, what's this that? Blue speckling planet. Interesting. I'm sure, it matters to uh, the cause of astronomy. Leave it on the moon because we need the moonlight, right? I don't know what the significance of it is. The uh, guy's room is in this tower, right? He said it's his sleeping quarters. Yeah. So he probably has a. That's probably like a uh, a guide, like a. a, a, a Lensy thing. Oh, this is where the teleporter lives, right? So when we turn on the teleporter, right? Let me hit the switch. I thought hitting the switch would teleport me, but I think it'll just enable the teleporter in there. Maybe. Probably not. Probably still not something I want to use. Let's just save. Yeah. Okay. That has lit up that area. Not something I want to use because I have a key and I think going into a teleporter and not knowing where it comes out and who might be watching or nearby seems more hazardous than opening a door. But hey, it's pretty. Flash bomb. Chief Astronomer. Blood bold. Was there anything on top of the shelf? No. Nothing up here either. Anything in the bucket? No. God damn relighting candles. Yes indeed. Look at that, look at that moonlight revealing the, uh, the thing. The chaos shard, that's it. Three mages and their pretentious titles. Big metal hearth. Clunk, clunk. Could go now. Get on top of the bed, maybe. The hell kind of movement was that? So these guys seem to have really big hands, like really long, spindly hands. Like way too many fingers for thief. Way too many fingers for thief. Look at that. Fingers individually modeled. This is. I don't know what game you think you were in, Mr. Wizard. This. You just can't do that. Oh, we got the Chaos Shard. These are everywhere. Definitely a spirit. Spirit of lockpicking. I 
don't think there's anything on his bed. I don't think there's anything in the fireplace. No, it doesn't look like it, so... Cool, you wait, you go there, man. Yeah. Let's get out of his hair again. Okay, well, we got the Chaos Shard. We can now slowly work our way down here. Try not to be caught. Again. Oh shit, I've got fucking guard bots. Or something, has that got eyes all around it? The hell is that? Did it see me? I'm looking at bottles and stuff because I don't know if like healing potions exist in this mission and they like might be have a different appearance. Okay, the eye thing is not here right now. Let's try this shot again. Oh, there it is. There we go, that's more like it. I think it must have seen me. It's gross. Squish, squishy curse. Super bright up here too. Don't know what's up with the rat. Okay, I think the guy's about to come in, right? Is that? That looks stickable, doesn't it? I don't know, but maybe those are potions that are useful. Oh. <clears throat> it's owl. Would you friend? You know what? I think this is probably a great place to end the episode while we've got this horrendous eyeball. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. See you soon for the next installment.